Here's an ancient engine. It's a true vertical because the cylinder's on the bottom and the shaft is on top, but I'm showing this to you because of the fan governor. These guys are very early and they went out of fashion because the flyball governor is superior and also the flyball governor predates them. You'll see them on water wheels, windmills, whatever, but this, this fan governor, it's the opposite of an anemometer. The faster the engine drives this impeller, the more air current it creates. Got some loose blades. The more air current it creates, the opposite force wants to move the fan. And what it does is the fan axis is on a movable gimbal. And when it moves, when it's turning very fast and it makes enough lift, it moves the gimbal up and it changes the position of this throttling valve here, the steam valve. So here's your throttle throttle on top. And this is the throttling governor. So that's, that's how a fan governor works. Another obscure old piece of technology. If any of you run into it, that's how it works. That's how it's supposed to work. So now you know. Go and find them. Go forth and find them and make them work. As with everything.